We're finishing up prep work for the foundation for the airplane hangar. And it's going to be poured tomorrow on Saturday. So what we did here is we put the foam down. It's a special foam. It helps uh, the heat to get into the pad instead of going into the ground. And you can see our old pad had a different foam and uh, that foam had a bunch of ants living in it. So this one is uh, supposedly insect resistant foam. Um, yeah, and it provides really good insulation. After the foam was done, uh, Mike and I put this uh, HE PEX for heating and it took us uh, pretty much a couple days, two of us working, and this is 60 by 80 uh, hanger, so that's going to be 60 by 80 slab. So Mike did a lot of pre-planning and had a diagram, so we were measuring and it took us forever to get it done, so, but you can see how nice the pattern is. It turned out really nicely. So it's important to have good planning done. So I'll show you how we looped these tubes right here. So we watched some videos on how to lay these tubes. And the video said that you have to uh, clip it right at the peak, staple it at the peak. But from our experience, we liked it uh, on two sides. You can see it. Um, the tubes don't wiggle as much, so it's easier to lay them. So yeah, you can see the pattern and these are the manifolds. And I thought we have 10 zones, but actually we have 12 zones. So Mike is going to finish up work on the manifolds tonight. He still has a couple hours of work here. And then the guys lay this uh, metal mesh to support concrete. So it's all over. So yeah, it was a lot of work. We're pretty excited about the concrete tomorrow and it's going to be really busy, but we will try to film. And it might be just uh, a whole day video we will do high speed so we will see what we can do oh another thing is i was gonna show you is the anchor bolts i'll walk to them now So these are the anchor bolts and we have a few different patterns. Uh, the patterns came with our construction plan for the building. So we had to be really, really careful with how to do it. Make sure it's really, really accurate. It has to be really accurate. Otherwise, when the building comes, we will not be able to mount it. So this has to be really, really accurate. So Mike bought some wood and he drilled holes and these are the anchor bolts. And I think this is all I wanted to show. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.